Welcome to the Hydrogen Fuel Cells Europe at this year's Hanover Messe 2022. My name is Muriel Burkas and I will hosting the next 20 minutes interview. Um, please have a seat, join the public forum, enjoy the talk, um, ask some questions if you like, have a refreshment and relax. Uh, please welcome with me on stage. We will have the business development manager from JP Sauer and Solm Maschinenbau, and we will talk about Sauer compressors as part of the global hydrogen value chain. Please welcome Gunnar Krukenberg. Good to have you here. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much for the invitation. Let's start uh, with an easy question for you. <laughs> Tell me a bit about your company. What are you doing? Um, I'm representing uh, Sauer and Sauer Compressors Group. Um, we are um, piston compressor producers uh, with uh, more than 85 years history. Um, our origin are uh, Navy and shipping application compressors, but we have a wide range of industrial applications and this is my main topic uh, and to bring the focus of our uh, two brands Sauer and Hauk more uh, to the people. More to the people so can you elaborate a bit what are you exactly doing where are you active what is your core strain for skills? Um, we're offering uh, middle and high pressure application or solutions uh, starting like from 20 up 20 bar up to uh, for the hydrogen world to 350 bar, but hydrogen is just one of the gases we are uh, compressing. Uh, for example, uh, helium goes up to 500 bar, uh, and uh, for our daughter Hauk, we have a huge application range of other gases. Okay, so um, you have a lot of experience within the company with different gases. Uh, what kind of challenges do we see when we talk about um, the hydrogen market? What is, um, the, um, yeah, what is tricky when we talk we, about its market? We see a transition from the, especially for the hydrogen, we had since many years context for hydrogen application, especially for, for how coming from um, research applications uh, or for scaling up some feasibilities in, in a small scale. We provided the solutions and like the test runs. And now we see that the hydrogen application coming to the, yeah, facing the mass market applications. The applications are very widespread. We see applications uh, with atmospheric pressure. We see applications with pre-pressure, um, various kinds of generations of hydrogen and with different end pressures like 60 bar, 80 bar, 350 bar, and even higher. Um, and the big challenge is uh, the follow the goals of our uh, B2B customers, like coming from the first application to um, some yeah, more serious or even mass applications. Okay, um, and how is it about like um, the experience? Because it's still kind of a, a young field right, the hydrogen market. Um, when we talk about testings or making sure that certain things work, um, what are the challenges in this part? The hydrogen boom is a quite young and uh, overwhelming boom because uh, we have uh, so many new players on the market, which is very interesting for us, but also uh, um, convincing us that this uh, uh, wave is not just a short wave, because what you have seen with other uh, applications in the past, we see this this will be a sustainable new application trend, like replacing diesel gensets or uh, having um, storage applications, trailer filling, uh, pipeline applications, because uh, um, a lot of these companies are not anymore process driven, like from the process industry, they now have the um, background of uh, CO2 reduction and looking for uh, any kind of virus of applications. And uh, this brings a good base 
but also um, uh, challenges uh, in uh, follow-up projects that uh, you can have one single starting project, which is quite easy. For us, with our daughter company Hauk, they are used to provide uh, one-time solutions, uh, special solutions for, for customers. Uh, on the other side, Sauer is uh, more on the uh, uh, production side with uh, bigger numbers of compressors, but also special solutions. So, and bringing these two capabilities together and providing uh, so, uh, solutions for the customers. So the challenge is also that it's such a young topic that there's still a lot of testing and experience yeah. gaining going on, yeah. um, where it's hard to tell where it's going. In the, the process moment. world, we get very precise uh, configurations and tasks, technical tasks to fulfill. From the hydrogen, from the new hydrogen economy, we are getting often um, stories, target stories, where we what we want to achieve. But they are often, especially when we are talking about replacement of like diesel engines or other like storage applications for hydrogen, they are not so strict with their technical targets. They say, no, you are the expert, give us a solution, we will match our or fit our process to you, which is a quite new position for us. In the past, we followed the technical uh, requirements of the process industry, for example. Okay, yeah, that's very interesting. So it's changing from a, from daddy, from dictating the client dictating what they need, and you're just following to now them being that's the goal. Now we how tell our customers there, what's that, possible. That's you decide how we get there. We just yeah. want to go there. They okay. ask us what is a good solution, what's a reliable solution, how can we achieve this goal? Okay. And this is very interesting, and uh, all, but also challenging in the communication. Definitely, definitely. It's, it's, yeah, it's a change of, uh, also the change how you collaborate with the client. Definitely. Yeah. The hydrogen world is so much more uh, uh, linked in the networking and a lot of, B of our B2B customers, they don't see each other as competitors. They see each other as partners or they say, no, the task or the market we are aiming is so big, we cannot fulfill this. Uh, uh, as a single company alone, so uh, we face this. But we, are, we have another market player. Talk of them here. The context they would would be happy for the same solution, which is new in this kind of economy. Yeah, this, uh, I I wonder if it's also because it's such a big goal or purpose behind, like climate change. Um, that it's also a reason why people are more about collaboration and maybe less about co competition. A kind of, it's a very young industry. We have a mixture of experienced people, but also a lot of young people who are driven for the climate change. Um, and uh, a lot of these, well, our customers are, they have this climate change topic, this climate change goal. And uh, they know we cannot solve the this topic alone. Yeah, it's also it's not just purely business driven. Yeah, it's also yesterday I had a talk where it was also there is enough cake for everybody. Yeah, it's not definitely. like oh, definitely. if you get it, I don't get it. There is so much going on at the moment, and it's yeah. growing so much um, that there is enough for everybody. Really interesting. Um, so, I like your slogan. It's uh, anywhere, any gas, any time. Uh, can you elaborate a bit about what is your company's approach to? business or what are your values that are important to you when you do business? Um, we are very strong in uh, special and complicated solutions for our customers. This is where we're coming from, from the industry field. I'm not talking about uh, my colleagues who are facing naval maritime applications. Uh, our industry uh, history is quite long um, and we are strong in uh, solutionizing. And this service and this uh, knowledge we want to bring to our B2B clients uh, and providing uh, reliable, special solutions uh, for this new task uh, for hydrogen. Uh, it can be atmospheric pressure, because we have a lot of appli uh, new applications or sources for hydrogen, uh, and uh, to bring it up to 350 bar from, from atmospheric, which is a challenge, because sometimes uh, the hydrogen is wet, 
or we have uh, dry um, hydrogen with a pre-pressure uh, between 20 to 40 or 35 bar, which uh, we have to handle uh, with our compressors and then compress uh, to a target of the customers. But we don't see there uh, um, a standard product. We, we don't want to offer, or we cannot decide now which will be a standard product. Like uh, it's always 220, or will be 350 bar, or some some other pressure. We 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 have a very wide range of, of solutions of products, which uh, can be adapted to individual needs. Uh, you have a wide range, but at the same time, it's also you 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 want to be that it's really uh, proven tested, right? Before it. It goes to the market this is um, that you're like, okay, no, it's not a trend that we want to try out, but you actually make sure that it's bulletproof as good as possible, of course. We can um, use a lot of experience from our other uh, technical applications. For example, hydrogen application. Hydrogen is quite similar in the challenge of compressing, which we transfer the knowledge to, to, um, from, from helium to hydrogen. And um, the, um, our philosophy is to have reliable, this is why we are anywhere, uh, uh, solutions for any of our applications and for a wide range of gases. And hydrogen is one of it, which uh, we put a good focus on it. Um, and yeah, we are open for, for, for tests, but not for experiments. Okay. Um, maybe I open up quickly to the audience. Are there any questions from the audience at the moment? Good, if not, I continue. Um, can you talk a bit about the customers? Who are your clients? Um, very, very uh, wide spread. Uh, that we have um, customers who uh, have uh, hydrogen generators. We have customers who has an idea and have, for example, a solar or a wind park and just uh, purchasing all components, they confront us with the solutions. We have uh, process uh, applications. Um, so it's, I think we talk with a complete range of industry. Okay. Um, now coming to maybe the like, next steps, where are you heading? You already mentioned that it's a change from um, more a collaboration, a lot of communication with the clients or partners. Um, what is coming next for Sava? We are looking at the needs or the demands of the market. We strengthen our uh, portfolio. We're getting new products uh, soon, so uh, like closing product gaps. Uh, we have a wide range of air-cooled compressors and uh, some uh, water-cooled uh, solutions. And uh, the water-cooled compressor is quite big, our 6,000 series. And then bet uh, below this, we had in the past a gap. And beginning of next year, we will start uh, a new range, the Orkan range, uh, uh, which we tested with other gases, very successful and um, under tough environments already, and uh, which we uh, will open up uh, for the hydrogen world. And uh, this is... Uh, driven from uh, the request of the customers that they need uh, other sizes and other pressures and other models. Make sure that you can uh, provide a solution for yeah. every type of client, yeah. no matter the size. So from small, like from three cubic meters per hour up to thousand cubic meters and a bit more, we, we want to stand there with a the solution. Okay. Um, we, we talked about it also here in the, in the fair or in the group exhibit, we can tell that there is a change. Everybody's talking about scaling up, not only like individual customized solutions. Um, what is your perspective on, on the talk about scaling up? What is coming for you? What, where do you think it's heading? This is a difficult challenge, uh, especially in the communication with our B2B customers. Uh, it's, it's quite easy to provide them with the first uh, trials. And most of our um, uh, customers are in the starting phase. They're getting one or five compressors. Um, they get their own experience. They are facing the end customer. We are in a B2B world. We get their feedback. Um, and then we get their first ideas of how and when they want to scale up. And then 
get certification problems, uh, which is a huge topic because uh, everybody wants to start faster, uh, faster to the end customer, but projects are delayed. And uh, the, the communication line is a real challenge. To, uh, we also have to prepare for uh, yeah, providing the numbers uh, which are asked for. Really interesting because I think there's a lot of change going on on how we communicate or how the process is, is working, how we collaborate um, as, at the very end. Yeah. Um, maybe a last personal question. Uh, it's the first time that you're here um, at the fair with us. Um, what is your personal um, commitment um, to the technology um, when we talk about hydrogen fuel cells? I'm, my personal background is compressed air applications, uh, where I had a strong focus on energy efficiency and CO2 reduction. Just joining Sauer, uh, it was more the, the technical aspect and uh, solution, special solutions for, for our customers. And uh, the CO2 aspect was not lost, but not in the focus. But here I can have a direct impact in re replacing um, fossil fuels, which have a CO2 effect, which makes me personally quite happy. And I have, I'm uh, 44, and I have seen the, the climate change uh, when I was young to now, and I see uh, we have to work on this. And this makes me happy uh, to be part of this kind of new uh, industry. Thank you so much. I feel we can tell that it makes you happy that you and talk about it um, also a lot. Thank you so much, Gunnar, for being here today. Um, dear audience, if you want to talk with Gunnar further about the topic or with Sarah Group in general, um, their booth is C45 um, in this direction, or you can just talk to him right after the session. Thanks for being here. Thank you very much.